This tutorial will show you how to set up and use the Accurip software. Ryanet's the largest reseller of the Accurip software and we appreciate your business. So once you purchase Accurip, you will receive an Accurip email with your activation code. Very important to keep this code. This code is your access to the program. You can transfer the program between computers, but if your computer crashes or you need to transfer it, you need to make sure you have the code on record. Once you have the code, you can now download the software. Simply click on the link right here to download the newest version of the Accurip software. Very simple to do and it takes a very quick amount of time to download. First you select your operating version. Right now I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, simply select a PC. Next you select, I'm a new purchaser, I'm going to download this. This is the same way you would actually download a trial as well. Simply go to the download link and it will save and download the program. The program is not a very big program. It's super soft and doesn't take a lot of memory and usage on your computer, so it downloads fairly quickly. Once the program is finished downloading, simply open it up and install. Select the accurate package and continue to installation. Once your program is installed, it's now time to enter the serial code number. Browse to the program in your applications or in your program's file. Open up Accurate by clicking on the icon. Now it's time to go to Activation and Activate. Here is where you enter in your serial code number. Once the serial is entered, you can now use Accurip. Let's show you how to set up Accurip. First of all, you go to File and Setup. First you select the type of printer that you have. Right now I'm setting up to the Epson 1430. Typically I use 13 by 19 sheets of film when I'm printing with this printer. I always use the Ryonet Write Film, waterproof film. It's the best highest quality premium film and actually saves me about 30% on ink. We're also using the Ryonet Black Max All Black Ink System, so I make sure that Multi Black is selected. If you're using standard Epson ink, you do not want to select Multi Black or you want to uncheck the colors of ink that you're not particularly using. So if you're only using black, then you only want to select black. For me, I'm using all Multi Black, so all of them are checked. Next you select your resolution and print size. It gives you a default and I would recommend sticking with the default to start out with. I do not select bi-directional or high speed. I keep it single directional printing as I think that holds better registration on your films. Next you select how your printer is connected. Right now we're connecting locally. We would typically just select the USB port the printer is hooked up to. Then you select how you would like this to be screened. Right now, we're not going to discuss this, we will discuss this later on in the tutorial. A couple things I would recommend that you do. First of all, I'd go down and print a halftone test print. This will actually send the halftone image to your printer, go ahead and rip it, and you can make sure everything is hooked up correctly. Second, I would print out a halftone droplet weight test print. Now what this does is this selects your droplet weights. So on your 720 by 720 using the less ink setting, which typically I'm probably going to use the standard ink setting on that, it will print with all these different droplet weights, meaning that I can select the best one that performs on that film. So let's say the best one is 12. Simply go up here, select file, droplet weight test print, and then choose the best one, go back to setup, and then select the best rate, well let's say it's 12, maybe it's 13. Whichever the best view is on that setting, you want to select it. So on the 720 by 720 setting is what you printed it out of. The best drop of weight is 13, select that and hit OK. Once this part of the program is set up, you typically do not have to change it unless you change ink systems and or change printers or have to get a new printer. Now let's go back to how would you like this to be screened. This is the only thing that I always change in Accurip. First of all, you select your dot size of your halftone dot. I'm always typically using round dots because I think they expose the best. You can experiment with the different types of dots. I've also used ellipse dots in the past, but once again, I would recommend using round. Next, 
I would always recommend using lock screens. This allows you to lock your screen settings and your frequency settings in Accurip versus having to do them in Photoshop, Illustrator, or CorelDRAW. Make sure that this is locked and that when you want to change your LPI, you come back here and change this every time you want to change to a different LPI or lines per inch setting for your frequency. Accurip is defaulted to 45 LPI. It does work for most things, but we do recommend changing that depending on the screen mesh and type of job you're printing. If you're printing on lower mesh, you want to use a lower LPI. If you're printing higher detail on higher mesh, you want to use a higher LPI. You can decide your LPI mesh size by simply taking your screen mesh and dividing it by 5. So if you have a 110 mesh, you would probably want to use max of about a 20 LPI on that screen. Now, that's not an exact formula. For instance, you could probably go up to a 25 and still expose that, but it does depend on the quality of your exposure system. The better quality exposure systems expose better halftones on lower mesh screens. For now, if you stick to the 5 ratio, either taking your LPI, timesing it by 5, or taking your screen mesh and dividing it by 5, that gives you a good ratio to go off of. Let's say we're going to print with a 40 LPI. Once we're all done here and we're happy with our LPI settings, we simply hit OK. Now we go back to our image. I'm going to print out of Photoshop today. Go to File and Print. We want to make sure that we select our Accurate to our Epson 1430 printer. We do not want to select the standard Epson 1430 driver. We want to select the Accurate to the 1430 driver. Now we also want to go to Print Settings and set up our page size. We go to we're selecting the Super B 13 by 19 size and saving that profile. Next, we always want to make sure that we use center crop marks. Center crop marks are definitely the most important crop marks to screen printing. I always either add them in manually in Photoshop or Corel or use them in my print marks settings in Photoshop. It's very important to keep this setting correct. Printer manages colors. You do not want Photoshop to manage the color. You want the printer to manage the color. Once we're done, we simply hit print. That rips over to Accurip and we're good to go. You can start printing halftones, four color process, simulated process images to your heart content. Accurip is very easy to transfer and update as well. To transfer, just go to activation and transfer activation. Remember, you have to have that code to transfer it. If you don't have the code and you transfer it, you won't be able to use Accurip any longer. To update, simply go to versions and updates. Download the link and then do the same thing and the program will automatically update. Once your program is updated, open up the installer package, simply go through the steps again. The program quickly updates. Now you can use Accurip again, the up-to-date version to your heart's content. Accurip, once again, is super easy to use, super easy to maintain, and doesn't take a lot of resources from your computer. If you're looking to pick up Accurip, you can pick up both the Accurip trial version on ScreenPrinting.com, and you can also purchase the software. If you want help and resources to Accurip, check out our resource library and simply type in Accurip. We have dozens of articles and videos that show you how to use and maintain the Accurip software. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us by submitting a support ticket on our help desk. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy printing with Accurate.